Oh, please, 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 please. Oh! oh, oh, oh. This is Eater Bakes, where we take five Eater staffers and pin them against each other to see who can put together the most visually stunning dessert. There will be a panel of three judges, but with no way for them to taste the dessert, they will rely solely on the presentation. In the end, only one winner will be chosen to earn the ultimate bragging rights. Best Baker at Eater. Up first, the challenge. The category is pie. Make your best looking and most eye-catching pie. You will have three hours to achieve this all while recording yourself. Are we excited? Woo! Hey, woo! I'm very, very excited to have a reason to bake that's not sheer boredom uh, because I have been baking the hell out of this quarantine. I have never attempted what I'm about to attempt, but I'm in it to win it. I am not used to having to make my pies look good, even though I like making them, so I'm nervous about that. And there's also some really stiff competition. I don't wanna lie, I'm not convinced my pie is gonna be the best. I know it's gonna be pretty. I have made my pie before. It's kind of sentimental and means a lot to me. Preheat the sentimentality to 450. <laughs> All right, on that note, let's get baking. Today, we're gonna make brown sugar boba pie. Let's hope that the boba Jesus will look after me. I'm gonna make the salted lemon meringue pie from Sister Pie, which is a bakery in Detroit, and they have a cookbook, which I love. I'm going to be making a black bottom oat pie. The recipe I'm using is from Smitten Kitchen, um, but it was adapted from 4 and 20 Blackbirds, which is a pie shop here in Brooklyn. It's kind of like pecan pie, but instead of pecans, there are oats in the filling. So I'm gonna start with a graham cracker crust, and then on top of that, I'm gonna do a layer of mango pie, and then on top of that, I'm gonna do a layer of a strawberry cheesecake. I know there's a lot of controversy out there on the internet about whether a cheesecake is a pie or a cake. Let me just tell you, it is definitely a pie. So I am making a ruffled milk pie. I think it's Greek in origin. It calls for store-bought phyllo. I couldn't find store-bought phyllo, so I'm gonna make my own phyllo. <laughs> so we're off to a bad start. Let's get started. So the first thing that we're gonna do is make our graham cracker crust. So I'm gonna pour the graham crackers in. So we're gonna start the phyllo dough. With the dry ingredients, mix it, mix it. Uh, next thing I have to do is cut my butter. So there are a lot of big chunks here that you just keep going until they are smaller. Oh god, I can feel the dough melting already. <laughs> That's not good. My dough ball. I do not have total confidence. So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting it in my cupcake tray. It's my rolling pin. I'm pretty okay at making pies, so it would really suck if this is like the time it doesn't work out for me. Come on. There. Everything is difficult, etc., etc. I mean, I wasn't actually expecting to win. Not with people like Adam and James in this category. What we're gonna do is roll this up. Ooh. Beautiful. Okay. And oh, yeah. we have a um, pie plate. I honestly think this might be the worst pie I've ever Definitely not an expert technique. This is what it looks like right now. Um, I think this is, I think this is good. Okay, we're gonna put it in the fridge. These are looking pretty good. I have my frozen pie crust, which, you know, it is what it is. Trust it. Usually people have uh, beans for pie weights, but this is a rice household, um, as you can tell, that I love rice. My beans, my special baking beans, which I'm just gonna get very liberally poured in here. I hope everybody else is doing worse than I am right now. That's, that might be petty, but it's, it's how I feel. Uh, and this is going into the oven to blind bake for like 30-ish minutes. I am going to start on the mango filling, make some whipping cream in my sand mixer. Okay, so I took this out. It's looking flaky, it's looking Gorgeous. Oh, it looks so pretty. Here are some of my other ingredients for the filling, starting with uh, the chocolate for the layer of ganache on the bottom of the pie. So this is a uh, black tea. Ooh. I heated a cup of mango puree, um, just one cup out of the 30 ounces. Okay. So here's my remaining mango puree. 
cream. We're gonna combine the heavy cream and the milk. So now I have to make the meringue that goes on top of the pie when it's finished and cooled. So this just gets mixed up. Add this cream cheese mixture. So currently it looks like this. So this is the custard that we made. This will cook until it's thin and foamy. This is a, um, a chai masala, so it's like a, a blend that you would put into your black tea. And next, I'm going to toast the oats. Holding like ribbons. Okay, so I think we have our mixture. Looks pretty cute. That's pretty smooth. Uh, we're gonna cook the boba. So now that I've melted my chocolate, it's going in the bottom of this pie crust to form the black bottom. Not too bad. Yeah, Full on defying gravity. Perfect. So it's a semi-even layer, although this pie is very wonky. This just goes right on top. It has cracked a little bit on top as it's been cooling, uh, which is not really a problem because we're gonna cover it all up anyway. Okay, so here are my pies. That is very cute. Look at those layers. Yeah. And we're gonna dollop it on top, like so. Let's press this down and basically shape it into this custard part. I'm worried. It's too much custard. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! It's nice and brown now. I'm just gonna touch up the toasting on it. Because I like mine to be like quite dark. Okay, so you see all three layers now. And then I'm gonna have that just lightly whip uh, cream in the center. And this is a honey lemon meringue pie. And it looks gorgeous. I think that's it. You know, brown sugar booba pie. <laughs> My honey lemon meringue pie. I can see like from the outset, I think I didn't blind bake the crust quite enough. Okay, so a bunch of hours later, finished the pie. It went about how I expected, which was not good. I didn't find that phyllo dough, so I had to make myself, and then tasted good, but no. Nah. The chocolate black bottom floated to the top of the pie while it was in the oven. It's actually really good. Um, I love that you can taste the mango and the strawberry. I like the crunch from the graham cracker crust. It's really creamy, it's not too sweet. Mm. God damn, that is so good. Mm. I still have some beautiful layers, a nice gooey layer there on the bottom, a chocolate layer closer to the top, and a nice crunchy oatmeal top. I don't know why that happened. Uh... I'm taking like a James bite size. James sized bite. I'm sure his tasting video is like, let me get the perfect bite. The crust is about as flaky as I could want it. Um, so I think I did overall a pretty good job. Top it is. I'm so sorry.
We have come to the judgment component of the contest and it is time to meet our judges. First, judge number one, our very own editor in chief, Amanda Clute. Hi everybody, uh, I'm Amanda Clute, lover of sweets of all kinds. Very excited to be here today. Uh, judge number two, our restaurant editor, Hillary Dixler Canavan. Hi, I also like cakes and pies. <laughs> Happy to be here. And our final judge, she's fluent in babka and a 2019 Eater Young Gun, expert baker, Zoe Canan. I'm Zoe Canan, pastry chef of my apartment. At the judges table, we were judging all of the dishes based on five criteria. Ambition was one, creativity was another, uh, presentation and color was a third. Uh, the fourth was texture or what it looked like in terms of texture. And the fifth was overall execution. All right, now it's time to announce our winners. The pie that came in fifth place. The Ruffled Milk Pie by Patty Diaz. Patty, the Ruffled Milk Pie came in fifth place. We noted that you made your own phyllo dough, which really upped the ambition level of the project. The phyllo was too thick, and then the overall pie didn't really come together, and it looked a little underbaked and maybe too chewy. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> I picked it because it was really beautiful. And then of course I failed at that because I didn't find the, I have the right dough. Do you consider this a loss or are you just the worst of the best? I mean, it tasted good, which only I and myself and my sisters know. But yeah, it, it, it sounds right that I lost. <laughs> All right. The pie that came in fourth place was the Black Bottom Oat Pie by Monica Burton. Okay, so this pie looked very delicious. It also got a lot of points for that beautiful eater E in the middle and the lattice work around the pie crust was gorgeous. Not a super creative pie. So I've made uh, many versions of this pie and one of the photos it looked like the ganache layer was in the middle and the custard had sunk to the bottom. Uh, it's a delicious pie, but yeah. The pie that came in third place is the Mango Strawberry Summer Pie by Sonia Chopra. We thought your pie was super beautiful. We all loved the like vibrant colors. It was definitely the most colorful and festive pie. But we docked some points because we weren't sure that it fell squarely in the category of pie because it only had crust on the bottom. And then we also felt like some of the contestants tackled a more technically challenging crust. I definitely went for ease of crust in this. So this seems very fair to me. We're down to our final two contestants and one of them is the winner. Uh, Amanda, what did you think of the uh, brown sugar milk tea pie? I thought it was wildly creative incredibly ambitious definitely a pie i would want to eat the only negative would be the crust on the bottom looked a little bit underbaked or a little bit soggy i mean minor minor issues because it, it's a stunning pie zoe what did you think about the honey lemon meringue i thought this pie was super impressive and i noted that in one of your photos you were actually able to take the whole pie out of the pan and uh, place it separately, which is clearly a sign of a super strong and well-made and well-baked crust. I would add to that. I think this is the piece of pie I would want to eat the most. The only point I would take away is it's not as creative as some of the other pies where people are basically inventing a whole new pie, but the execution is just off the charts. So now for the winner, the first place pie was James E. Park with the brown sugar milk tea boba. Yay! James E., you really took this category because of your unsurpassed creativity in inventing a new type of pie. I went through a lot of uh, emotions. <laughs> I would love to serve a piece for you guys later when we can uh, see in person. That sounds incredible. I want to eat. 
the boba pie. <laughs> I also just really <laughs> want a brown sugar boba. It's been so long since I've had one. Yes, thank you so much. I am inspired to go bake a pie right now and I'm super inspired by all your creativity. So great job.